Hi, this is your host, Train Room Gary speaking. Let's go out and meet Mike Wolf, CEO of MTH Trains, and let's talk about MTH Wi Fi. Yes, let's go to Ohio and check out Stockyard Express. I want to give a shout out to Clyde and Diane for inviting me down to Ohio, and also uh, Brian, their head technician. All right, we made it. We're at Stockyard Express down in Ohio. Let's take a walk up and see what this is all about. We're kind of in the middle of nowhere here. All right, we're up by the main door. Let's take a walk inside and see what's going on. All right, we're down here in Ohio. This is uh, Mike Wolf, the CEO of uh, Mike's Train House. And he's going to give me, this is my phone I brought with me, and he's going to show me how to do some of the stuff with this. Well, you just have to for, change the speed and just touch, see the, the uh, speedometer moving around. And it goes up and you are run on this train here. We got the horn button. Oh, we had to. There you go. Yeah, cool. There you go. You're blowing the horn. Ring the bell. Hear the bell going. Well, what's cool about this is this is my phone. I brought my phone down here to Ohio. So I made sure it was working on yeah, my yeah. phone. Download know? the app. No, no magic. MTH Space DCS. You can do it on Android phones through the Play Store, or you can do it on Apple phones through the App Store. Okay. And it's MTH Space DCS. Download the app, and you can run the train in the store. Uh, I've been thinking about, you mentioned in one of your videos, I should buy a, a cheap uh, tablet from, like, Amazon. I've been, yeah. I've been looking at those, too. Just have one dedicated to my train room. I was talking to my son. He was saying some of you have to only, you can only upload their junk. And they're, they're well, apps. I, my suggestion is I'm an Apple guy, and yeah, the, me too. the Android ones are a lot slower. Okay. So go on eBay and yeah. buy a used iPad. You can buy them for a hundred dollars iPad. Now you got something, and you can buy new ones can be three hundred dollars. But buy a used iPad. Okay. It doesn't matter. You're going to use it for running your. Uh, is that iPad there? That, that's it. And look at look at this nice big screen. That's on a case and everything too. Yeah, that looks yeah. really good. Mm -hmm. uh, you can buy holders for this, like trade show holders that you okay. can. Yeah, I see Hold it to your layout, layout and snap them in there. That train rope does it that way. That's videos. correct. That's correct. I'm, I'm a YouTube junkie, right, so right. I watch all the videos, right. you know. But I met you one time at, at, at Wild Bill's Trains in, uh, in Michigan right, many, right, many right, years ago. Right. Yep. Appreciate it. Hi, guys. We're back in Michigan in my man cave. So let's close down my MacBook Pro and show you guys where I'm at. Let's start this engine up. Well, I'm going to give you a uh, quick tour of my layout because I know I may have some first time viewers here today. This layout is a shelf layout. It's 24 feet long and comes out on the, from the wall 8 to 10 feet on each end. So it's a good size layout. I have four main lines and right now we have something running on each main line. Then once it gets done, i showing you the layout real quick. I'm going to go back and we're going to unbox the Wi-Fi system and set it up. Remember, Mike gave me homework and my homework is to come home and make all this stuff work. So let's get to the unboxing. All right, let's get started and do the unboxing. Uh, when I was down at the uh, shop in Ohio, Stockyard Express, Mike autographed the box here for me and also autographed this uh, reefer car. And of course, here's my smartphone with the uh, app on it. So let's get started. Let's do the unboxing. This is a warning here. It talks about you have to have a five point or higher on your uh, handheld controller in TIU. I had the six point all done, so I'm upgraded to the latest version. Comes with the uh, Wi-Fi quick start guide, which will be very handy. Now, looking back at the box, here's the actual unit. Man, it's not very big. You can see you know, it fits in the bottom of my hand. So I'll give you an ideal size. And 
This is the cable that runs from the TIU to this Wi-Fi box. This is the power cord for it. And this must be the antenna back there in the box. So that completes the unboxing of the Wi-Fi. Now let's go install it. All right, the antenna just screws on the on the uh, Wi-Fi unit right here. So this is just going to receive the signal from from your phone. And this is the cable that runs from the Wi-Fi to the TIU. Now if you have an older box you're going to need a different cable and that's explaining the directions. But I have one of the newer uh, TIUs. These are the free directions provided by MTH. I'll leave a link in the description or you can stop your uh, video here and take a look at this. The password is located on the bottom of the Wi-Fi unit on a white label. You should be running Wi-Fi version 1.1 and when asked to enter your password do it all in lowercase. Now let's run the train using MTH DCS Wi-Fi. All right, we got the uh, UPF3 ABA set up on the uh, Android phone. Let's check out the bell. All right, let's give it the horn. All right, let's take it forward slowly. I just hit the plus. There you go. You got it working on the Android. The same phone I used down in Ohio at Mike Wolf's demonstration. All right, let's check out the uh, whistle with the pull down rope. See how you pull that rope down, you get the whistle sound. Yeah, that's pretty slick. Right, let's give it a little bell. And this is a uh, CNO Rail King uh, 464 Hudson Streamline. All right, let's take it forward. All right, this system will also run uh, Line L locomotives. This is a UP Challenger. Let's do the startup. All right, now it's starting the engine up. And let's make sure it's active up by blowing the whistle. Here's the same thing in Bulls cool down. So that's pretty cool. Now the dial looks a little different than it does on the MT8 trains. We'll just hit the plus key here and take it forward. So this is a pretty cool app, you know, it runs Lionel and MTA locomotives. Alright, I'll just show you how easy it is to change the screens. Yeah, slide over, get another set of screens here. Here's all the soft keys. There's quite a few of those. Train wreck and those kind of things. But in my other upcoming videos, I'll go more over these different screens. Of course, there's the uh, horn. All right, let's do a startup. Hit the startup. Engine's coming on. Right, we're kind of having a subdued light here so we can see that the uh, Android phone better. All right, let's let's give it the let's give it the bell and whistle. Right, this is a boss in the main switcher. All right, we can change the screen here just by taking our finger and sliding this up. See how the the screen changed, and we have things like the uh, headlight on and off. Let's turn the headlight off. See the headlight just went off. So the headlights headlights back on. But there's just more features on here, like you got the smoke, the engine sounds, here's your volume, rev up, rev down, all those kind of things. All right, let's take it out of here. This is your host, Train Room Gary speaking, saying, Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and comment. And as always, cheers from Detroit and Mackinac Railway. 
a Train Room Gary production, Detroit, Michigan, USA.